How's it going, everybody? I'm Ash. Despicable. Pathetic. Ugh, it's just too, e too easy. Too easy. But computer and simulation. And it just make me sick. <sighs> oh. Oh, guys. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Sorry. I was going over one of my many scenario simulation plans for taking over this channel and taking Ash out. This one was too easy. I mean, he's not a challenge. What kind of hero is this? Ugh. Anyway, on to better things. I'm Car Dreamer, your D-Class villain. Ha <laughs> ha! And with that, I am bringing you the news for October 2018. And I must say, we finished up a great retro month for September. I love it. Uh, we had our Iconoclast Let's Play, which is a phenomenal game by Ash. Uh, we had our mini Let's Plays of the Death and Return of Superman, the Punisher Arcade. Uh, it, it was just a lot of fun. We had some great product reviews, and we just had some great times. So... Moving forward, we hope to do an equally great time. Ash has another Let's Play for us of another game that I am actually very interested in. I wanted to see more about. So he's going to bring us a Let's Play of A Hat in Time. That's right. That is our main focus for this month is A Hat in Time. He will be playing this on the PlayStation 4. However, it is available on other consoles. I believe it is available on the Switch. It is available PC via Steam or other sources. And it is available on Xbox One, so please feel free to check into that. Also, don't forget to pick up your free games for the month. Free games is always good. Ruin the economy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we've uh, learned a few things that are doing really well with this channel lately. And things that we're going to try to do uh, better focuses on. Last month, we learned that also our Let's Discusses are actually really big, and we're trying to do some more collaborations with them. We did one from Dan from Indie Drop, which was a, a wonderful time. Really uh, thankful that he was able to do that. And we have another one upcoming with Dace Stonebeak of Stonebeak Productions. And uh, that, that'll be a great one. We got plenty of other things in the works with other members um, I will be doing another video with Dan Ash and I will be doing one with Stonebeak as well so we're really looking forward to that I have got a couple of games that I'm really wanting to do let's plays of myself <laughs> and unfortunately I want to play them all equally so that none of them get done because it's like oh what do I do do I want to do this do I want to do that and it's just you know it's very hard to decide because you want to do it all. Plus, time is always an issue. My next Let's Play is going to be a very special looking game. I don't know anything about it except that it looks beautiful. I just happened to keep coming across it in the Microsoft Store. I have not heard anybody talk about it. I have not seen anything of it other than the trailer that starts to play when you look at it. But, um,. It's by Through Line Games, so it's an indie title, but it's published by Square Enix. And between what I can see of the graphics and the imagination alone that it takes to do the story, and the fact that Square, Square Enix, the bringers of Final Fantasy themselves, is backing this, I just get this strong sense of magic and wonder from it, and I'm really excited to try this. Uh, it did have a lot of good reviews on Xbox. In fact, not one person actually had a bad review that I saw. So that's actually saying a lot as well. I'm really excited to try this and that's all I'm going to say about this game. And uh, just actually the game just came out this year too. So that is also going to make it awesome. In addition to that, we're going to try to bring you some more uh, product reviews when we can. I, I don't me and Ash don't get a lot of products um, in general, just because of money, and we're already kind of set up, so it's kind of hard. Like, what do you review at this point? 
that isn't out there. Um, so, but I've got a few things in mind that I'm still going to do that isn't really been talked about or utilized that I'm actually excited to do to get more people into doing these kind of things, if only for themselves or for fun. Uh, Ash has one he can do as well. That'll be exciting and fun, something different for him. We have more Let's Discusses on the way, uh, some really great topics from... Zelda topics to, well, <laughs> too many different topics. Let's just leave it that way. Some of them I want to keep it as a surprise. We're going to try to do some more reviews. Ash does amazing reviews. He's really got a good presentation for those. Um, I wish I could do those the way he does. But uh, we're going to try, also try to start different things. We still want to experiment and explore Ready Player 5 has a series he's been working on that we would like to get out there and try. It'll fit in with the retro theme, but it'll be a slightly different take on it. Usually when we hear retro, we're thinking of going back and people re-experiencing their nostalgia and, and childhood and younger days. This is going to be kind of one of those things. It's going to be going back, but... It's going to be a first time for Ready Player 5. So that's what we're really excited excited for. Um, we just got to get a variety of games that are worthy of trying this with. And we're hoping to also spread out in different, a little more different areas. I would like to spread out a little more in what consoles I play. Um, and not that I don't have a, as has been talked about and known by others. I have a wide variety of consoles. It's just my preference always seems to be Xbox. And the games that I play on there are widely available on other systems. It's just, that's my style. But we also want to try to do some more, um, a couple more mainstream things, a little more serious with a couple of mainstream games. I want to do Monster Hunter content also would like to do some destiny 2 content at least with the uh, forsaken expansion having come out it the game has gotten better i feel but i it, it's still double-edged sword for me there's things i would like to do some discussions with and talk about with i got some let's plays with little cd we did war mind and the curse of osiris expansion so that'll be fun and uh, we'll we'll go through and do uh, hopefully forsaken for you guys. That'll be a big one. That was a lot of fun. But having said that, we got a great month, like I said, ahead of yes, hat and time, more discussions, more reviews, more of everything that makes this channel great and evil. Me. <laughs> With that having said that, I'm Card Dreamer. Till next time, stay evil, my friends.